Okay, so today for a tip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw a set of curved staircases, uh, maybe coming off of a foyer um, with a couple of rooms around it. I get this question a whole bunch in our trainings, and it seems to be the biggest, uh, probably one of the number one questions we get is how to do them dreaded curved staircases. So we're just going to do a little quick one here and let you take a look. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, hit the hot key for staircase. Again, our hot keys is how you're going to be quick at exact mate. Make sure you learn those hot keys as, again, F for roof, R for room, a shift W for wall. But here we go, C for our staircase. So we want to make sure we hit that C out here. We're going to drop a staircase in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop in staircase. I'm going to hit escape because we don't need a landing on it at this point. Now, first thing you want to do is go check the properties of your staircase. We're going to go ahead and set in. So we went out there and we maybe measured up our stairs and we've got um, eight risers on it. And uh, we are a five foot total rise height. Okay. That's how high our stairs went up. Uh, seven and a half inch riser heights. Um, so we'll need to set that first. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'll delete this wall here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this staircase right here. I'm going to paste it here and give us another staircase. This will be our second step. Now, if we look at this in 3D view, you'll see we got the difference in our base tread height we need to change because this one is also listed at zero right now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and first let's make this a subgroup of our stairs. And down here for the tread base height, I am going to set that at five foot as well. So when we go back to 3D view, you'll see now we have our stairs in 3D all looking good. Everything's looking good right there. Okay. So the next step you want to do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit here is in order to make these curved stairs, we're going to go ahead and rotate this around at a 45 degree angle. Our stairs. I'm going to just grab the corners here and we'll bring it out at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Now you'll need to adjust the length of those stairs based on what it is in your scenario. And then let's go ahead and drop a room in here. So we're going to do a room, which is an R. Remember, we're going to use our hotkeys. So R is our hotkey for room. So we're going to drop us a little room up here. And this is going to be our foyer. And we'll just drag that out a little ways. And we'll call this our foyer. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up here into our stairs. And we'll make it a little bit wider here. We'll get it to the corner of those stairs. Okay, and then I might even go ahead and drop another room right off the side here. And maybe we'll go ahead and bring this around here as well. So our foyer kind of wraps around. So maybe this room right here, we can call this room here our dining room maybe. Okay, so first thing let's go ahead and do, let's put a, a little curve in our dining room here. So we're going to use the vertex tool here to make it what is going to be an arc wall right here. And we're going to also use the arc walls on our staircases. So when you're trying to bring rooms together with curved stairs, what I find is the easiest way is to go ahead and draw your rooms in first that are going to be around those stairs uh, so that when you go to, to arc those walls of the stairs, the neighboring or adjacent rooms also will arc with it. So we're going to highlight the staircase wall here. And we're going to tell this that is an arc wall. We'll say yes. We'll do the inside wall the same way. We will tell that is an arc wall. Yes. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and arc our wall here in our dining room. So now that we do that, let's go ahead and take first our dining room. And we're just going to arc that wall there. Then we're going to take the stair wall here. And we are going to go ahead and create our curve to it there and then we'll go ahead and bring this one in as well and get our curve there now that looks pretty good up to this point but we notice we don't have our stair treads rotated the right way either so we do need to go ahead and rotate the stair treads so let's go ahead and come here and it's going to have under the staircase option it says do we have angled treads we're going to say yes we do we've got some angled treads which you may have noticed though is the direction has changed on my stairs. You'll see the direction now is coming this direction. So if we look at that in 3D view, that's not what we're looking for. 
It's um, kind of odd, but for some reason, uh, the stairs will flip uh, the orientation on you. Not all the time, but it, it is something that will happen. If so, not a big deal. So I'm going to highlight my stairs. I'm going to click the orientation tool, and I'll bring down here, and you'll see where my little red arrow is right here. That's the direction I want my stairs to go. So I've changed my direction, and my stairs have gone back up in the proper direction. view here the luxury to see those stairs and that's pretty much it for creating curved staircases and even a curved wall on an adjacent room hope you enjoyed this training and learn more from train pro